Emily, I would like to start off by saying we did it. I can remember telling my parents, coaches, and even friends that I was going to marry you. Everyone thought I was crazy, and I know sometimes I can make questionable decisions, but I know marrying you, Emily, is the best decision of my life. To love one another through thick and thin. My world does not spin without you in it. With you in my life, there is joy, affection, warmth, goofiness, laughter, and the feeling of being a home. I am so excited to start this journey with you called marriage and create a loving, happy family. Since the time Emmy was a baby, she's always been very independent, always very adamant about doing things herself. She was the one child in our household who wanted to complete any task without assistance. I remember a time as a toddler when she cried for over an hour because she was trying to put on her pajamas and she couldn't get her head or arms through the nightgown. We would ask if she needed help and that would only frustrate her even more because she was so determined to do it on her own. We have a video of her during that tantrum, and funny enough, a few scenes later, you can see her stroll through with a smile on her face and her pajamas on backwards. <laughs> and inside out, I think. Even though it had taken her an hour, she persisted and accomplished the goal. We have watched this scenario of being independent play out throughout her childhood and now into adulthood. Whatever she sets her mind to, she's determined to complete. EJ, it is so surreal to be standing here before you today. It feels like just yesterday we were 16 years old and talking about the crazy idea of us getting married one day. I always prayed for my future husband and the qualities that I was seeking for the person who would fill that role one day. Over the years, I've seen all of those qualities in you. I admire you for a lot, of, but above all, you've helped me understand what it's like to love and be loved unconditionally. There is no one else that can change my mood in an instant the way that you can just by your presence. See This is like so freaking cool. I can't believe you got that done. Emily, I vow to love you and protect you. I vow to be there for you when you have a bad day. EJ, I promise to love you without limits, to always choose you. I vow to make you smile and laugh forever and comfort you in times of sorrow. And to always appreciate this life that we have together. And by the power invested in me as a minister of the gospel, I pronounce you man and wife, Edward. You may kiss your bride.
DJ has an incredible work ethic. And by the way, for those of you who don't know, he kind of likes the Eagles. So, um, Emily and EJ have uh, chosen professions which, which uh, serve people, um, which is pretty admirable and, and a worthy pursuit. EJ and Emily, of course, you know, we wish you the best. We love you, uh, Emily. Welcome to the family. And uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful life together. EJ was Emily's first real boyfriend, so none of us expected this to last longer than a couple of months. But who are we kidding? Emily has never been one to just let things randomly happen. This girl plans how she's going to build a sandcastle in advance. So of course, we should have known that Emily saw you and her future long before you or any of us ever did.